Diane Hathaway sentenced in a short sale property shuffle you've watched unfold right here over the course of a year. Hathaway is sentenced to one year and one day in prison. She was ordered to pay $90,000 in fines. We have Team 7 coverage for you tonight. Cheryl Choden talks to a former colleague of Hathaway, but let's begin with 7 Action News investigator Ross Jones. Ross, you broke this story, and I understand we heard from Hathaway for the first time today. She finally broke her silence one year into this scandal, Joanne and Dave. Good evening. Judge John O'Mara listened as Diane Hathaway stood before him and said she was a broken woman. She pled for forgiveness and said she understood only she was to blame for her long fall from grace. Well, the judge responded by sentencing her to one year and one day in prison and $90,000 in restitution, which she paid today. Her sentence comes as a direct result of our 7 Action News investigation, exposing Hathaway's false pleas of poverty to her bank. She hid more than $1 million in homes and bank accounts while asking her bank ING to forgive more than $650,000 in mortgage debt. Now, prior to her sentencing, her lawyer, Steve Fishman, said that Hathaway should receive a sentence lighter than the 12 to 18 months in prison that both sides had agreed to because he said these were unique circumstances. Well, the U.S. attorney disagreed. At the end of the day, said prosecutor Dan Lemish, this was bank fraud, and Hathaway ought to be treated like every other criminal. Well, just a few minutes ago, I spoke with Hathaway's lawyer, Steve Fishman, asking him if he was angered by the judge's decision. Anger is not part of either of our DNA, okay? Judge O'Mara is a fair man. I meant every word I said in there. And if this is what he thought was right, this is what he thought was right. I am not going to criticize Judge O'Mara because he is a fair judge. This is a 59-year-old woman who's obviously never been in any kind of custody situation who's got to go to a custody situation. Of course she's not happy. And of course she's apprehensive. Now, even though Hathaway will spend up to a year in prison, we found out that she was not taken into custody today. That will come later. But even though she's got that one-year prison sentence, legal experts say there is almost no shot that she will spend that full sentence behind bars. I'll have that and more coming up on 7 Action News at 6. Joanne? All right, you mentioned, Ross, she wasn't, she wasn't taken away today. Do we know if a week, a month down the road, when this sentence will actually begin? That's up to the Bureau of Prisons, and they have not yet set a date. It's a mystery to Hathaway, and it's a mystery to the rest of us right now. All right, I know you'll pass it along when we learn it, Ross. Thank you very much. And right now, 7 Action News reporter Cheryl Choden is live in Midtown. Cheryl, I understand a retired justice has some reaction to what Hathaway did. That's right, Joanne Elizabeth Weaver. She retired from the bench. She served on the bench with Diane Hathaway, said Diane Hathaway was a breath of fresh air, but also said Diane Hathaway made a stupid mistake. She still has a life ahead of her, and she's a very worthwhile person. And to she to make that stupid mistake, and it was, and she's a smart woman too. She taught real estate law. You know yourself. I didn't even know what a short sale was. She did not involve her staff, and um, that's my understanding, and I believe that which only says probably she knew it wasn't right. What her motives are, she may talk about, she may not. I don't know. I could guess, but I'm not going to. The minute she did the fraud and dishonesty, she disqualified herself from the court. And she should have left. Now, Elizabeth Weaver served for 15 years. She left in 2010. Diane Hathaway, of course, left in a very different way. Reporting live downtown, I'm Cheryl Choden, 7 Action News. All right, Cheryl, thank you very much. Hathaway was elected to the state Supreme Court in 2008. She was supposed to serve an eight-year term. That was cut short when she resigned earlier this year after an Action News investigation exposed the fraud. Coming up in just a few minutes, Action News legal analyst Tom Cranmer looks at the case and the sentence handed down today.